first few days everyone's like got this tension like I came here alone and then by the end of the festival people are just like fully themselves and embraced and I think that's what the community provides. How's everybody doing? It's a very, very cool place. We, we have not ate this much fruit in a long time. I feel like we're a little bit high on the fruit. And who else is feeling a little bit high on the fruit? All right, all right, all right, let's do this. Something that I notice about the people at this festival in particular is that everybody is very open-minded. Everyone is really loving and caring. I can feel their good hearts. Everyone is very welcoming and everyone is so eager to learn and become a better version of themselves. Yeah, I've met so many new people at this festival. There's so many cool people from all over the world. I know a lot of people I'm going to stay in contact with after the food festival. Really just it's all about the people coming together and just enjoying fruit life and everything beautiful that comes with that. I think that after I leave this festival, my life is gonna change because I've been re-inspired to consume more fresh food, raw food, and to be, to be really consistent with that um, because I feel much better now and it's definitely rejuvenated me. At a fruit festival, you can expect to be surrounded by a welcoming, happy community group of people. You can expect to feel supported in your lifestyle, in your journey, and in your goals. You can expect to eat a lot of delicious fruits and raw veggies. You can expect to meet so many interesting people and hear from amazing speakers, learn tons of information and spend a great weekend or just a few days out in nature. If you've never attended a fruit festival before, um, they are like camp. You get to come and experience an amazing event with a bunch of people. You get to experience the raw vegan diet. You get to eat a lot of fruit, uh, go to a lot of activities. You can learn from the presenters, connect with new friends, meet with old friends, and enjoy the lifestyle. There were a lot of great uh, presenters here, a lot of really good information, a lot of good vibes, a lot of good energy. Uh, a lot of love being spread and uh, yeah, really good times. Lots of great stuff happening at Fruit Festival. There are health empowering lectures and workshops. There's plenty of raw vegan food, uh, lots of laughs and social time. There's usually great physical activities, exercise classes and time to hang out in the lake and just socialize. Music, dancing, uh, I've even heard a little bit of poetry and people uh, playing on the swings, the playground. You get to be a, a big kid. I mean, I think the, the biggest thing with attendees is that, you know, when people meet other people and like maybe you meet somebody at, an, at a fruit event that has the same exact health condition you had, but then the person you meet, they're, they're over there as they got over. They, they've healed because of the diet. And then, then now you know you like, hey, that person did it, I can do it too. So I think like, you know, motivation is, is really huge because we're also unfortunately isolated in this uh, internet age and you're watching this on YouTube or some other kind of video streaming network. <laughs> well, I believe that the people that come to attend a festival tend to be people that are on a, on a journey of personal growth. Uh, they're self-reflective people. They take responsibility and when, when, when something's happening in their, their life, they realize that they need to make a change. And that's the difference between some of the people that come here and some of the people that are not attending is that they're sick, but they don't 
maybe want to change. They don't see it as their responsibility to change or they don't even realise that they can make a change. Whereas people that have already come on this path to here, they've realised for a start that the the world out there that we are presented with is not quite as it seems, that the answers that were given by the conventional institutions and the government at times often aren't the right answers or aren't the best thing for you in your life and definitely not the best thing for your health. So they've already realised that like, I'm going to need to start making some decisions for myself, I'm going to need to do my own research, I'm going to need to do my own growth, I'm going to need to find these niche communities of people that are with and the leaders and the the experts that can help me and help me with the different aspects of my life. So what you find is people here are looking for not just growth in terms of their health and diet, they tend to be looking for growth in every area of their life and they want to expand and and so many people here believe that they can change their life and they can change the world and those are kind of the same thing as well. If you change yourself, you automatically change the world around you. There's a lot of presentations um, where people who are new to this way of eating and living can come and learn and absorb lots of information. And there's also a lake nearby and it's a beautiful location. So there's, you're immersed in nature basically. Um, everybody was tenting at this event, which was especially sweet that we're like fully immersed here. Um, there's an abundance of raw food, which is beautiful and always arranged for us. Um, lots of connection, um, like people connecting outside of the presentations and then the ability to ask any questions and just receive advice and su suggestions from other people um, and friendships that you wouldn't have if you didn't come here. Um, yeah, stick with that. <laughs> there's an openness to the people that attend these festivals. I mean, just being able to look deeply into somebody's eyes or share a long hug or dive deep into your personal vulnerabilities and feel 100% accepted, it's amazing. You can tell the people who are attracted to events like this have done the inner work on themselves and that exudes from them and enhances our connection. So I just love the, the intimate nature of the connections between the people here and the acceptance. Yeah, what I've noticed about the people here is that they're just really genuine, you know? They're really chill and um, they're really open and welcoming. They have a lot of love. They're very accepting, non-judgmental and everybody's here to help each other and support each other and grow together. And um, it just feels like, um, like, uh, like another family that I never knew about favorite people that I've followed and just like pretty much listened to and like followed everything that they've put out to the world that is here and I'm like wow it's such a weird feeling to be like around the people that you've just watched for a decade <laughs> like it's just insane I, like I was talking to Elise the other day and I was just like I remember when you were a cute college girl with dreadlocks it was so cute like and she's like really I'm like yeah I've like watched you that long and she's like that's so nice to hear and so it's such a good place to be right now. <laughs>